Good morning, it is Tuesday. Don't mind this giant spot on my chin. It's been chilling there for about four or five days now. Um, and it's just decided to be really gross <laughs> today. Um, I'm going into work, not feeling very well. Hey, excuse what I look like, it's Thursday. I don't think I've filmed today can't even remember if I filmed yesterday. This week has been all about getting my essay done and it's still not finished and it's due in tomorrow and I went out this afternoon with my mum to town because I just could not sit here and do it anymore. So I took a break, went out for the afternoon with my mum, had some retail therapy because it's payday and student loan day. Um, and on the day that I get my loan, I always have a little bit of a blowout and then I put the rest away. Um, but yeah, so I bought some things and I thought you might like to see them gonna show you my stuff in the living room because I've got the washing machine going in the kitchen so I bought some face wash I bought some concealer and I bought some powder because I've run out of all of those things by the way this concealer which is the lasting perfection um, concealer by collection best concealer I've ever used and I've used a couple of high-end ones and I still think this is the best one I've ever used and they really I can't even talk can you stop licking it? <laughs> They've just released, Archie, oh, stop it. They've just released a new shade called Extra Fair Zero, which is great for my skin. So, yep. We went into Primark and I found this sweatshirt that says 90s throwback and it has the Rugrats on it. I appreciate that this isn't an ideal way to show you stuff, but then I got this jumper, which has got color blocking. This is like a pale pink color, gray, and then it goes into lilac um, from cream at the top. And I am definitely a jumpers and leggings girl, especially since I gained weight. Um, so I bought this in a nice big size and I thought it would be good for um, the months coming up, sort of like February and March when it's still pretty chilly, but you want to wear something other than like navy and black. It's got a little bit of those like pastel spring colours in it. So I'm excited for that. Then I got a bath mat. I'm kind of addicted to bath mats. We've got quite a few, um, but this one I loved because it was like this lovely sort of like speckly navy and white striped because our bathroom's going to be like a nautical theme and that was six pounds love that i got another pair of these little chip socks they're chip and mrs potts they're so comfy i've worn mine to death already and i only had them since christmas and they were reduced to a pound so i grabbed another pair and then in tk maxx i bought my boyfriend a valentine's card he is a Leo and I always joke about him being a lion. So got him this, didn't I? It's got a lion on it. And I got these, look at them. If I can remember, I'll pop a photo on the screen now because I actually have a bunny that looks like this. I just couldn't resist. Um, and they'll go in my kitchen in Easter. I think it's a pack of two. Yeah, it is. I don't know if there's a bunny on the other one though. No, I think the other one's, oh no, there is a bunny so cute they had a ton of bunny um tea towels for easter and then also i got a new dish drainer um like a you know after you've done the washing up and you pop your dishes all in the drainer on the sink um i got a new one of those but i put it in my mum's car while we were walking around because i didn't want to carry it anymore and then i forgot to get it out so hey are you so handsome are you handsome boy yes you are good morning everyone it is thursday and hopefully you will be seeing a little bit more of me now for the rest of this vlog because i have submitted my assignment i am so happy i've submitted it but yeah so i'm about to head to work i've booked my car in to get a new tire put on after work um and then i just need to call HMRC to get my tax bill paid and then everything outstanding from this month is done and sorted and I can just get on with February. I'm very excited. I'm home and I'm looking a state, but I've got a new tire on my car. I've arranged most things that needed to be arranged today. I've swapped my top for my 90s throwback sweatshirt and I'm gonna take the dogs on a walk in the woods. They're wearing their equal fleeces. And they are raring to go, aren't you guys? Winnie is ready. Yes, she is. The sun has gone in, unfortunately, and it's very cold and a bit dark. So I'm not sure how long our walk will last, but it's nice to be out anyway.
We're just exploring. Archie. Good morning everyone. It is I think about half past seven and I've just stopped at services to grab, I think it's Cobham services, to grab a coffee and, well not a cup. I didn't, I don't drink coffee. I got a hot chocolate and um, to have a wee because I was halfway through my journey to Romford and I was desperate for a wee. I'm off to the UK Planner Addicts Big Meet today, very excited. I was supposed to leave at like 6am, ended up leaving at quarter to seven and now I've stopped again. So I'm a little bit behind schedule but that's all right. Um, I just, I knew that I was desperate for a wee and I wasn't going to be able to hold it for another 45 minutes so I just stopped and now I'm worried I've added time onto my journey. But it's okay, we'll see. Anyway, I better get going. I voted for both of you, just so you know. <laughs>
did feel excited, curious to know what I was going to do. Really think about it, if you didn't volunteer, think about what held you back, what were the thoughts going around in your head that held you back from the opportunity of winning £10 like Sophie did. the 2018 uh, planner, happy planner, and the winner is Megan Black. Sunday morning I'm joined by my little friends <laughs> um, and I thought that while I'm sorting everything out I would give you a quick overview of what I got at the planner event yesterday probably the most amazing thing was that I won youtuber of the year which I really wasn't expecting because obviously as subscribers of this channel you'll know that I don't always post planner videos anymore it's definitely in the plan haha <laughs> no pun intended it's definitely in the plan to post more planner videos again but I was just trying to find a system that worked for me because for a long time I wasn't really planning properly because my planners just weren't working for me but now I've found a setup that's really working so oh my kettle's boiling but yeah now I found a setup that's really working for me I um hello I would like to start doing planner videos again so those will be coming very soon but I won youtuber of the year which is amazing because it means people voted for me and that's just I don't know it was such a surprise and it was so lovely and I will treasure this forever most definitely the lovely Vic Walters came up to me and gave me you cannot have this you can't have it this sausage dog Christmas decoration, which is so cute because I actually have a collection of Christmas sausage dog decorations. So that will go with those next year. He really wants this. He thinks it's a toy for him. Archie, sit. Pretty. Are you going to do pretty? No, you can't just grab me. Archie, pretty. Good boy. Good boy. You can't have it though. Um, but yeah, so this will go with... No. <laughs> so this will go with my collection of sausage Christmas decorations. And it's so cute so thank you so much Vic of course we have the goodie bag I had a special bag with my name on um this year Daisy went for drawstring bags which I think is a great idea this is going to be so useful I can actually like take planner things in this lovely bag um mine is actually missing probably the biggest donation from the bag uh to the bag sorry which is um a 2018 dodo pad planner and as I said I'm really happy with my planner setup at the moment so I didn't want to um <laughs> So I didn't want to start looking into other styles of planning. Um, and Daisy mentioned that her dad really loved the look of the dodo planner. So I said he could have mine. So I won't be able to show that to you in um, my roundup video or now. But it's fine. Um, and I'm not going to go through the goodie bag now. Because obviously like I said I'll do my roundup video. But there's a sneaky peek. And then, on top of everything that was in the goodie bag, we also had a swag card. Now, I don't know if it's in here or if it's in my goodie bag somewhere, but um, we had a goodie bag swag card, and you had to go around to most of the stalls were on the card. You had to go around to the stalls and collect an extra freebie um, that was their contribution towards the goodie bag. So that was a really great idea. We had to go around and, like, hunt the freebies. I collected nearly all of mine, I think. Um, and they are all in here along with the only purchases I made. I spent a grand total of £5.50 at the event because I'm on a spending ban. And I am really proud of myself for that because I could have spent hundreds. Honestly, the stalls were just wonderful. Um, but I just, I can't spend loads of money right now. So 
I bought myself two sheets of stickers, which again I will show you in my roundup video, but here is a little sneaky peek at all of the things I picked up. And then I have a little doodle book and a program and a word search that were all on the tables um, at the meet. So yeah, that's a little sneak peek of everything for you, but you will see it all in detail in my roundup video, which will hopefully be coming this week. In fact, that video might even be up before this one because I'm aware that I've uploaded two weekly vlogs in a row. So I'll try and get my um, roundup filmed. Um, you, what? You just really want it, don't you? So while I was at the event yesterday, our stairs going all the way down and the hall, well, the landing was carpeted as well as the master bedroom which currently has a pile of clothes on the floor so let's just show you this bit <laughs> was finally carpeted and i am so excited but before i left i think i told you on friday i had to take everything out of the wardrobes so now my life today is going to be sorting all of this out. <laughs> Will's gone out, he's going to the gym and he's going to buy us a new shoe rack for the porch. We're just trying to make the house look um, nice because we're thinking of selling it. So we're gonna have people around to value it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have people around to value it. So obviously we want it to look nice. So we're just making the porch and everything look a bit nicer and we're gonna get um, my parents old sofas for the, for the conservatory to like make the conservatory look like a room you can use and all that jazz so he's also going to pick me up some vacuum bags because there's a lot of summer clothes here which obviously i'm not wearing yet and i won't be for a few months and a lot of it doesn't even fit me like i can see at least three or four things just in that little bit there that i know don't fit me anymore so there's a few things that i really do love and i'll keep because you know i'm hoping to lose weight this year but some things are like a size six and the only time I'm ever a size six is when I'm really poorly with my Crohn's and I don't, I don't want to have those clothes around. So I'm going to sort through and get rid of lots of things, hopefully. Wish me luck. Little update for you. This is my pile of stuff so far that's going to be washed and bagged up for a donation to charity. I've got Christmas jumpers and things in that pile there, which are going to be vacuum packed. Um, that is the start of my pile of summer things to be vacuum packed. That's tights, underwear and bras that need to go into my chest of drawers which is in my craft room. And then this is the extent of my autumn winter wardrobe at the moment. Um, everything fits in here much nicer. As you can see I have a very samey colour palette. There's a lot of grey, there's a lot of dark colours and a lot of burgundy, a lot of navy as well and stripes. I'm big into stripes. Um, but yeah so that's what I'm keeping at the moment. There really isn't a whole lot there to be honest because I'm not really into clothes in all honesty. In the winter I just live in jumpers and leggings and a lot of my jumpers are in the wash at the moment. They're in the washing machine right now, in fact, so they will be going back into here when they are dry. And then I have hoodies, which I'm going to find a place for. But yeah, so that's how it's looking at the moment. I still have all of these summer clothes to sort and vacuum pack. And oh no, I just realised this whole bag is filled with clothes. Oh no, <laughs> my wardrobe is not going to be nice and small is it? Forgot about that. So this thing is empty and my wardrobe's not looking quite so spacious anymore. <laughs> I forgot that most of my jumpers were actually in there. They weren't in the wash. I had caught up with the washing last week. This is the problem when you catch up with the washing. No wardrobe space. That is the problem. So it is the end of the day now and I wanted to show you my progress. So this is a bag of washing, clean washing, that Will needs to put away. And then underneath that we have a giant Ikea bag full of clothes and shoes that I'm going to donate. I've sorted out the top of the chest of drawers. Put my copper wire lights on the bed. Sorted out everything under the bed. And my wardrobe. 
it's looking pretty full. Down the bottom I have um, a jumper that needs fixing, a spare dressing gown, my wheat bag things that you put in the microwave, they are super handy if you have stomach pain. So obviously having Crohn's, they are handy for me. I have a box filled with belts and hats and like nice spring sort of scarves. And on top of my jumper, I've got all of my workout clothes. Got my dressing gown hanging up here. Oh, let's move this basket out the way. I have hoodies and sweatshirts up there. Some bags on this shelf. Some more bags down the bottom. And my vacuum packed spring summer clothes that are slightly too small. I'm determined to get back into. So yeah, that's how the bedroom is looking. My bedside table is sorted out again. I love it, we've moved the fan over there as well. Love it. Then my craft room is looking emptier again. Oh, well, not empty, this room is full of stuff, but it's looking emptier. I need to sort out all of these things another day. Let's pull this blind down. There we go. But yeah, so everything that was in here is gone. I've got this shelf, which we still don't know what we're gonna do with it, but it just lives in here for now. Um, and then this is a big bag of old bedding, bath mats, clothes with holes in and stains on and things to be chucked away. So that is today's progress. And I'm very happy with it. Nice clear craft room and a nice bedroom. Those bath mats there need to be put away, but I've also hoovered all of the upstairs and all the way down the stairs to get like the excess carpet bits off. I just love it so much. We went for a cheaper carpet, but it's still really soft on your feet. I also cleared out this little cubby hole thing with our bedding and towels and things so this looks a lot better as well we're thinking of getting some like baskets or boxes to store this stuff in so that it's not <laughs> ugly on the shelves and now i'm gonna go downstairs switch this light off i'm gonna go downstairs and put my next load of washing onto the error <laughs> 